Melissa Lantzman's comments fiercely condemned the liberal government's policies, painting a bleak picture of the diminished quality of life for Canadians. But it's a bit rich for the Conservatives to point to food bank lineups when they oppose a national f school food program that's going to feed over 400,000 kids across Canada. And nine years later, it hasn't fed a single child. They just don't get it. The very policies that they have delivered has given us the worst quality of life in half a century, the worst since the last Trudeau ran this place. In the past three months, 25% of young adults have had to go to a food bank in this country, 38% more homelessness after they promised to end it. And about 50% of Canadians are worse off this year than they were last year. How does this government have so much money to spare while ordinary Canadians are literally going hungry and homeless? Her words resonate deeply with democratic principles that demand efficient governance, financial prudence, and policies that truly serve the people. Lanceman pointed out the stark realities increased utilization of food banks, rising homelessness, and a drop in Canada's happiness index. These issues underscore the core democratic values of economic stability, job creation, and a robust social safety net. She criticized the government's failure to fulfill promises like the national school lunch programs, emphasizing that democratic values call for accountability. Transparency, consequences, and the responsible use of taxpayer money are essential. By contrasting the current state with the previous Justin Trudeau administration, Lanceman appeals to conservative voters who are disillusioned, disillusioned with the liberal governance and yearn for the perceived prosperity under former conservative leadership.